In this lesson, we'll be focused on the value of pandas, the primary data analysis library in Python. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the value of pandas to data science in Python, highlight the key data structures of pandas, and discuss the capabilities of pandas that has resulted in its widespread adoption as a tool for analytics. Pandas library provides a number of data analysis friendly features, which made it one of the most popular data science tools. Pandas builds upon NumPy, so most of the NumPy advantages still hold true. However, it uniquely enables ingestion and manipulation of heterogeneous data types in an intuitive fashion. Pandas also enables combining large data sets using merge and join, and it provides a very efficient library for breaking data set, transforming, and recombining. Another great feature Pandas provides is its visualizations. Plotting data has been simplified by inbuilt functions that come with data frame. And descriptive statistics by using simple function is another good part of Pandas. This capability really simplifies the exploratory data analysis as well as communication of results. Additionally, Pandas library handles time series data effectively via native methods it provides to ingest, transform, and analyze time series data. Other benefits to using Pandas are the ability to take advantage of native methods to handle missing data and data pivoting, easy data sorting and description capabilities, fast generation of data plots, and Boolean indexing for fast image processing and other masking operations, just to name a few. Pandas achieves this thanks to two data structures, namely Pandas series and Pandas data frame. A series is a one-dimensional array-like object that provides us with many ways to index data. Series acts like an ND array, but it supports many data types, integers, strings, floating point numbers, Python objects, etc., as a part of the array. It is a valid argument to most NumPy methods because of its similarity to arrays. The axis labels are collectively referred to as the index, and we can get and set values by these index labels. So, a series is like a fixed size dictionary in this regard, but it's very flexible. Although series is a flexible data structure, the data structure that gets used even more is Pandas data frame. A data frame is a 2D elastic data structure that supports heterogeneous data with labeled axes for rows and columns. Arithmetic operations can occur on both row and column labels. We can think of it as a container for series objects where each row is a series. If you are looking for a functionality to perform some data transformation, chances are Pandas already has it. It provides almost all major data wrangling capabilities that data scientists need. It is actively supported by a developer community and constantly increasing in functionality. We think Pandas will continue to play even a larger role in data science process in the coming decade. We have just reviewed why the Pandas library in Python is very useful and talked about the two data structures in it. Let's get started with our Pandas notebook to review these data structures.